Hi there, Tim with Madrona Labs, back with another video in our Kaivo series, this time focusing on the gate module. So the gate acts much like a voltage controlled amplifier or a VCA within a modular system. It uh, controls the level of the sound that is patched into it. In this case, the granulator goes straight into the gate module and all of these signals flow through an emulated Vactral. This emulated Vactral has an emulated decay, which opens up a world of a bunch of different possibilities, including really cool percussive stuff. And just like all the other inputs on the modules within Kaivo, we have a level control for the external signal we're sending in. So with the level dial set here at zero, nothing's happening. If I turn that up, we can get that note droning. And as you can see here in the Kaivo default patch, the gate from the key module goes into the trigger input for the envelope. So this is set up to be played with a, a keyboard. So really quick, just to show it off, I'm gonna take the output here from the key module on the gate. I'm gonna put that into the output from the sequencer. And then I'm gonna just get a really basic sequence going. And now this is triggering our envelope. And you'll notice as I mess with our attack, decay, sustain, and release parameters, the way that this sounds is going to change. So this is how we can sculpt the sound coming out of the granulator. But you don't have to use just the envelope module. You could use LFOs. You can use the noise module or even the sequencer module. And while the gate is primarily used to sculpt the dynamic range of the sound coming into it from the granulator, it also can have some really cool spectral effects if used in the low pass mode or if the leak feature is introduced. And we're gonna get to that in just a moment. Let's talk about the leak feature here. This allows you to control the amount of simulated DC leakage you want applied to your signal. So with analog VCAs, you can get some leakage and that can just kind of add a little hint of your sound there behind it. And it actually is a feature that a lot of people like to have in their VCAs. So this allows you to achieve some of those sounds. And with the leak level higher, you also give more for the resonator and body modules to chew on as sound is flowing into them. But we'll get to that in the resonator and body videos. Okay, let's hear this in action. I'm going to take our envelope output, put it into our level input, and I put the analog pulse wave into the granulator just so you can hear its effect a little more. I'm going to turn the level down a little bit on the envelope. Now listen to the sound change as I turn the leak parameter up. And even though we haven't talked about the resonator yet, I'm just going to add it in there so we can hear the effect of adding some leak to a signal that's going through the resonator. So here's the analog pulse going into the resonator without any leak applied to the gate and now I'm going to slowly introduce that signal. And then slowly bring it back down. Now onto my favorite aspect of the gate, and that is the low pass parameter. And if we were thinking about the gate module as a VCA or voltage controlled amplifier in low pass mode, let's think of it more like a low pass filter rather than dynamic control. So let's listen to the difference of having it in normal mode as opposed to enabling low pass mode. So let's turn our envelope on one more time. This is normal mode. I've got some decay and release added to our envelope. Now listen to the change when the low pass is engaged. And of course the leak parameter can be used in conjunction with the low pass to add even more percussive elements to your patch. And the final control of the gate module is the decay. And this sets the decay constant for the Vactral algorithm within the gate. So in essence, with low decay settings, the 
gate is going to follow the envelope or whatever modulation source you're sending into it very tightly and very snappily. And then as you turn that up, it basically lets the decay of the Vactral ring out a little bit more within the sound. So let's take a listen to that. So this is with no decay, and we'll slowly bring that up. So let's get this really snappy sounding. So that is the gate module, and although it's very simple, it has a massive effect on your patch depending on how you use it.